Good evening, everybody. This is Sports on News. I'm Joe Borick, and this is after, unfortunately, another heartbreaking loss for the Lehigh Valley Phantoms as they fall by a score of two, or excuse me, three to two to the Providence Bruins. After battling back again, you can't knock them for effort in this one whatsoever. They battle back again. Uh, the power play was more stu- was more kind of supplanted by the fact that they just had a brilliant debut goaltender um, come in and Brand- Brandon Bussey, who played fantastic and was able to really control that as the Phantoms on the power play were one for seven and the Providence Bruins, the Phantoms actually on the PK, which is not always great, but has been great at moments for the Phantoms this year, was great today kept them at one for five is the lone power play goal for them was assisted by Merkulov and Berglund Merkulov killed them today and was a guy that wanted in the shootout as well that was the Brzeu goal that he was left open in the net front so it kind of goes back to what I've been preaching on some past videos for our Lehigh Valley Phantoms unfortunately the net front defense has been crap most of the season and that came to fruition and came to damn them again tonight frankly where it's interesting hopefully Wiley uh, isn't out of the lineup for long if he, if it is because of an injury, because otherwise it's stupid to put him out of the lineup. you got to keep guys in. I understand they're not used to days and so many days, but you got to keep your best lineup in at this time of the year, and why, why the in it is certainly that. But Pat Nagel played fantastic. He definitely deserves a star of the game. There's nothing you could do. Merkulov looks like he's developing into a fine prospect for the Boston Bruins, and is at least a fantastic stud for the P Bruins already. So not much you can do about him. Uh, taking over there. Cal O'Reilly does hit his 20th goal, which was fantastic to see on that blast. Wade Allison also made a fantastic play to get his 10th goal to get the double digits. Hopefully he can stay healthy to round out the season. Maybe he'll even see a little bit more clip period with the Flyers in an emergency call as well. But we'll have to see when it comes to that. Other than Brzee, Wagner was left open, wide open in front of the net. And he was able to get the goal. Both of their goals, Brzeu and Wagner, the veteran, the Wiley veteran, Chris Wagner, were able to just be wide open in front of the net. And that's inexcusable. And that's the issue for the Phantoms. They had, they did play a good all-around game otherwise. But a big issue is even when they play good all-around games, it's suckish net front defense. And uh, that's what kind of killed them again today. But hopefully they're able to rebound. They got one point in each of the last two games. That's a positive going forward. Hopefully they're able to continue this season in a positive to round out the last few games of the season as they wrap up on the 30th of April because you want to end in a positive heading in the next season with these guys at prospects you might have added to start the season as well. I think Brink and Cates will make the flyers to start the season. That's my own prediction. But you might have added who looks like he could use a little bit more seasoning um, in the AHL before going back to the NHL, he could be down there. So this team's going to get stronger, and they're going to have moves as well. Manel's still going to be there next year, in my opinion. Logan Day's going to continue to grow and get better. So you're going to have guys that continue to grow and get better. Same with Hodgson if he's down there, if he doesn't make the team off the jump, and same with Wilman. So those guys are going to continue to grow and get better. You brought in Hanson, who seems like he can be a sharp net minder over time who's going to continue to grow and get better. So it's about closing out the season with a bang. The playoffs are a long shot. Obviously, the team's still playing for that, and they've been playing very exciting hockey of late, but they also have the busiest schedule rounding at the season. So that combined with the fact that the way the team's inconsistencies and net front defense has ruined them this year, I don't see that happening. But it's nice to see a positive closeout to the season where the right guys are performing their best hockey, and you're moving in the right direction to round out the season, heading in to the uh, ending frame of this season so you can have positives to go into next season, which is Cal Riley, I would think, would stick around. Ryan Fitzgerald coming back, you should keep him around. He's been a very positive component of this team since he's been in last year and since being back inserted this year made the power play look better even without getting goals tonight when he was on the ice. Oh, I would say you got to keep him as well. And I, all the other guys I mentioned, like the Logan Days of the World, obviously Sandstrom. It's going to be interesting to see what Ursan does next year when he's healthy, because he's great. He just wasn't healthy. If Fedotov comes over, is he going to go right to the NHL? Is he going to get some AHL time to get used to North America? So it's going to be interesting to see what happens for the Phantoms. But there's definitely positives moving forward. I think next season, they actually are going to be a more top six competitive team at the very least in the division. But we'll have to see because I think they're building, they're getting closer to Hockey 500, obviously rounding out this season, and they're building in the right way. It's just inconsistency 
throughout the season is kind of going to be what destroys them this year when you talk about them not making the playoffs, plus the putrid start they had to this season. But everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. This has been the recent edition of the Ghostly Takers. The Phantoms battle hard, but fall again, uh, this time in a shootout compared to OT the game prior, as our Lehigh Valley Phantoms playoff hopes continue to really dwindle away. Um, but they are able to get one point and see many positives within the game moving forward to round out the season. Peace out, everybody, and stay safe.